We start by verifying if the point P with coordinates 1, 0 actually lies on the equation of the given circle. Putting x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, the left hand side of the equation of the circle is equal to 1 square plus 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 0 minus 3 which simplifies to 0 which is the right hand side of the equation of the circle. Therefore the point P does lie on the given circle. Now the equation of the circle can be written as x square plus 2x plus y square plus 4y is equal to 3. Adding 1 and 4 on the left hand side and adding 5 on the right hand side, the left hand side becomes the sum of two perfect squares, x plus one whole square and y plus two whole square. And this is equal to the right hand side, which can be written as two root two square. This represents the equation of a circle with center at minus one, minus two, and the radius equal to two root two. Now we draw out the circle. The center of the circle is at the point minus one, minus two. Let's denote this by O. The end point of one of the diameters of the circle is the point P with coordinates 1, 0. And the opposite end of this diameter, let's denote it by Q, is what we have to find. Let's assume that the coordinates of Q are alpha, beta. Since the center O of the circle is the midpoint of the diameter PQ, Therefore, alpha plus 1 upon 2 is equal to minus 1 and beta plus 0 upon 2 is equal to minus 2. The first equation implies that alpha plus 1 is equal to minus 2, which means that alpha is equal to minus 3. And the second equation implies that beta is equal to minus 4. Therefore, the other end of the diameter is the point minus 3, minus 4, which is the required answer.